Okay, I'm gonna tell you straight why it's taken away from me. I mean, I never ever would use anything like this, but according to MK Ultra, uh, once the people gave away their knives, what they did was they cut completely, entirely, totally everything. I mean, destroyed them totally everything. And I have noticed, uh, just yesterday, I have purchased these gloves right here, and I have noticed that they already started to cut. Uh, this is not even one day old. This is not 24 hours old. And you can see here what basically was done. Right? So I am in an environment where they have huge ass knives. Look at this. They have a big ass knives. They, are, they, they have knives more than you possibly could count. And those knives are big ass knives. And at the same time, the only thing I have are needles. And this is what really, why would police officer be so concerned with a small knife like this? I mean, like I said, I never ever would use something like this against a human being unless it would be like really self-defense, something that there would be no other way out. But yeah, this is yesterday I have bought this in Bedronka. You can see the time. And this is where we are heading now. Uh, so you know who is doing this shit? You know who behind this thing is? Polish police is behind this. Polish police, border patrol demanded that stuff to be taken away from me. So all this, everything you see, including my shoes, they're going to cut me shoes. They're going to rip me everything apart. They are doing exactly what they have said they're going to do, according to NK Ultra. By the way, a bunch of other things was also destroyed, which I don't have a time to go over right now. Uh, I have noticed that glows are filthy too. These gloves, which I bought yesterday, already are filthy. Uh, however, these gloves, the only thing I would do with them is I would place them on my hands yesterday when I walked back from the city. Uh, otherwise, I would keep them inside in here. But I told the guy, the Belarus guy, yesterday when I came, how I purchased them cheap for 3.5 3, 3 zloty. And I'm already paying the price, folks. This is what this is all about, okay? So this isn't about some kind of immigrants, you know, they're immigrants, uh, they are Muslim, they are uh, Russian and this and that. No, this is coming straight, straight from Border Patrol, from Warsaw is where this thing is coming from. So this is nice one. I see this is, this is chopped too, look at that. So what they do is they'll just go and they'll dismantle. My roommate has a special knife from Chechnya. He's got two knives. One knife is like a small knife to cut bread, something like this. But then he's got a completely different kind of knife. He has stored one uh, in his bunk, okay? So, the first results already are evident. Um, I'm not afraid of animals. Um, you know, although it's nice to have a knife with you, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna go and strangle a, a wild pig, a boar, uh, with your bare hands or something like this if you are attacked by a bunch of them or whatever. Uh, since I walk at night through the forest, yeah, it's not really risky or anything like this. It's nice to have a knife because you can always use knife, right? How, how would you want to be without knife? I don't have absolutely anything. And like I said, I don't mind to be without knife, but this is exactly why they have taken away from me knife. You see this? You see this stuff? They're going to rip me everything. Everything you see here, they're going to rip me apart. Look. They're ripping everything apart, but what's gonna get, it's gonna get much worse than that. I know that. So this is just a part of the procedure. Yeah, uh, and I guess the border patrol, the Varsho, want to go over it. So this was a good purchase, anyways. They screw me up, but they didn't screw me. They screwed themselves more than what they screwed me. And yeah, I'm here. I did not even made it out of the out of the city. Anything. There you go.